So hey guys, how's it going on? We are back again with another beautiful video on Jarvis with JavaScript. So today in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can actually change Jarvis into your very own language. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can convert it into Hindi and you can actually do it to Telugu, Tamil, any of the existing languages in your device. Okay, so let's get started without any further ado. So first of all, let me add a simple comment here like speech lang and let me create a variable here let's say it's name to be speech underscore lang and let i will just make it default to hiin now this hiin is a keyword to represent hindi and india so that is what it is going to be there there and uh, right now i'm going to add a comment here saying that hiin now this should be like this or or it should be something like simply this english us so these are the two languages we are going to switch between and simple now let me just tell you right now that we can switch within these languages anytime like like if i'm going to tell jarvis switch to hindi it should switch to hindi and if i tell him to like english mein badlo then it will turn into english and if you close the browser it will be in hindi if you have previously made it hindi and if you it will be in english if you previously made it hindi then english like anywhere because i am going to use local storage to access the language part okay so this is going to be completely user friendly and now what i'm going to do is take an if condition saying that local okay just give me a second local storage dot get item like say lang if it is triple equal to null then what you do is simply do lo uh, local storage dot set item set item equal to what set item now will be equal to a new language which is nothing but english by default okay guys it should be english by default fine if there is nothing then turn it into english uh, english but if there is something let it be okay now now what we are going to do is we have to create uh, something like recognition dot lang now here we have recognition right after we created recognition just go and just do recognition dot lang as it uh, now here we are simply passing in that variable what is that variable now actually we are not passing in the language name from that variable because that variable is created within this code i want that language which is saved which was done previously so i i want to get the language name from the data that is local storage so i'm just simply doing local storage dot get item dot get item lang so this is what i want okay now our language will be transversing between hindi and english whenever we set it to now after this let us create a function called readout for hindi language okay so i'm going to do just search for readout and here what i am going to do is create a function called readout hindi readout hindi and within here also we need to have a message and after getting the message we need to do most of the part is same so i'm just simply copy pasting this stuff and but we need to do some minor minor changes here and what are those changes let me just tell you guys so first of all we have created the speech then we have speech dot text message now make sure that this message has to be some hindi phrase not any english phrase because i am going to change this speech dot lang to hindi i n now again i'm putting an underscore okay fine now it is hindi i n and now your function is ready now you can use it to speak out something in hindi but we need to do something important now guys are you do you see that something is missing here yeah i have actually removed all our uh, talking conditions like here i kept them transcript dot includes all those i have removed from here and now i'm going to paste them within a few minutes but before that what i'm going to do is do something new now what is that new part so first of all we have to create a if condition to get the particular language so i'm like let me give you an example if our local storage if our local storage dot get item what is that get item it is our lang 
right if that lang is triple equal to what is triple equal to english us is triple equal to english us then follow these commands okay let me paste that here follow these commands not this one the one which i showed you in my notepad window and let's just copy them out here control a control c and then simply paste them here now after them what we need to do we are going to use another if condition for hindi also so i'm just simply saying if local storage dot get item our lang is triple equal to what hindi i n if this is the case then we need to have some hindi commands that is obvious right that much common sense you do have and then what we have to do is we just simply need to create some commands for hindi okay so let us do one command simply i am going to tell if transcript dot includes if so i just want to add a hindi phrase here so let me just get it from my notepad and uh, let's just simply paste it here if the transcript is including this text that is hello jarvis then what you need to do is simply read out hindi function call the read out hindi function and within that call this this stuff what is that hello sir now guys obviously the voice and the uh, uh, this stuff should be changing here because this is a completely new now i have already tested this in my device and it was a female voice coming up initially it was male for english and it is uh, female for hindi you will just listen it in a few minutes don't worry so now this is one of the function now similar similarly we have to do some other stuff now how would i actually change my language to hindi english or something for that we need to have a if else statement if condition right like transcript includes so i'm saving it right here now and then what i'm going to do is uh, go to the top of all these if else conditions if conditions and uh, here i will create one more command like let's say change lang command okay this is our command now if transcript if transcript dot includes switch to hindi if transcript dot includes switch uh, switch to hindi then what i am going to do is after switching to hindi we are just simply changing the variable setting some stuff to the local storage and we are good to go now what is that let me just tell you so first of all let us make a read out for confirmation that yeah this function is working read out and here within this read out i'm going to say switching to hindi that's it and after this we, i'm going to say converting our speech lang to english this time our speech lang is now not english i'm sorry we are going to change it to hindi actually okay h i i n fine now after this we are going to turn set this language to the local storage so i'm just simply saying uh, local storage dot set item within the set item we are setting it to be lang and for this lang we are setting this value that is our uh, h i i n fine now after this what we are going to do is simply saying uh, stopping the recognition and reloading our reloading our page fine web app and then i'm going to just, just simply say recognition dot stop and after stopping it how to reload this is a simple trick just remember location dot reload if you do your web's current page will reload automatically now after reload you just simply do read out hindi read out hindi and just for confirmation i have this we will say mata yaar hu sir okay it will say mata yaar hu sir and paste fine this part is fine and now let's just try it if i have missed something or not let's just test it out whether it's going to work or not so it is new here so i am just simply adding i will be simply adding my name and all so i'm just simply telling here and keeping this null your location let us just simply add london 
and then Instagram the enthusiastic dev okay let me just keep them null null fine and then submit Okay guys I see it's not working just let me there may be some error I guess that is the reason this is happening okay let me see the console okay console fine so here you can see require is not defined so something has been imported by VS code yeah I Previously, I made a mistake. No, that's not. This would be imported by VS Code automatically because I, by spelling mistake, I just pressed read. So now it should work fine. Yeah, now it's working fine. Now, if I say start recognition, switch to Hindi. Switching to Hindi. Now, guys, did you saw that? Now I don't know if there were any errors or like Hello Jarvis Hello sir So guys did you saw that the voice is changed now the this is actually Hindi it became Hindi Now I'm going to show you something different now I'm going to tell you that how you can actually switch back to English again Okay now Okay let me just stop recognition and I'm going to refresh and refresh the page just simply see I'm going to refresh and then if I again uh, again do like start recognition it is it will not respond to my previous commands like open github see it is not responding if because all I have not added this these old commands into my new new if condition right I have not added that but if I say hello Jarvis hello sir it is working so that is what I meant by that now I'm clicking on stop recognition and uh, I'm again going down to my if condition right here and I'm going to add one more if transcript includes to switch to English okay I'm just simply saying if transcript dot includes English may badlo or like something like that and yeah I have that phrase here I just copied everything now you will be getting like how do I get all these in English, Hindi phrases now guys next episode okay I will keep that in suspense in the end I will tell you about that okay okay wait wait okay fine now here what I'm going to do is I'm just simply saying read out Hindi again here I'm saying English mein badal raha hoon or something okay I just got this phrase and I'm just simply pasting it okay after telling this what it will do is we are converting speech uh, underscore lang variable to English US okay English US simply and after this we are setting this item this stuff to local storage local storage dot set item our lang our lang to be what simple e n u s fine and after setting the stuff to ENUS what you are going to do is same that is stopping R to be true and then our recognition okay wait and then our recognition dot stop fine after stopping it you again need to do location dot reload reload okay reload reload again and uh, simple I'm just simply read, read uh, simply calling a readout function and here we are saying ready to go sir now I don't think this will actually work or not this last readout function but sometimes it may okay fine now this is uh, let's test it out so now we are ready with Jarvis now I'm starting it hello Jarvis Hello, sir. So yeah, it's working because previously we had switched it to Hindi, so it is currently now in Hindi. Now, if I say English me badlo, English me badal raha hu. So guys, did you saw that? Now, if I click on Start Recognition now, now it should be in it. It should take all my English commands. 
open github opening github and now you can see it is actually taking my previous commands close all tabs closing all tabs sir and now all my previous commands are simply working fine guys shut down okay sir i will take a nap so guys did you saw that how we converted our very own jarvis into hindi and english switching from here to there now you can actually add all these commands like here also in hindi version now you now you will ask me that that is a lost lot of work how will we do that don't worry in the next episode we are coming with a bang guys there you can convert all your english phrases into hindi live with your jarvis itself so in the next video we will meet again very soon until then keep watching this video and just make it completely as fine as you want in the next video we are going to make it so that if i'm going to tell jarvis to convert this to hindi it will actually convert this to hindi or any language you want any language we are going to use an amazing api in the next video so stay tuned subscribe the channel like the video if you think that yeah this thing is helpful for me okay that is it for this video i will meet you again with another badass video just like this one until then bye guys